Hey guys, I bet some of you were kind of surprised to see World of Warcraft make a sudden return, especially when there's no new expansion or, or anything in particular like that. The real reason is because they just put out a new patch, World of Warcraft 7.3.5, and it had a new feature called a scaling world. What they did is they made it so that the entire game, I mean, that's probably not the entire most accurate way to put it, but uh, various parts of Kalimdor, Eastern Kingdoms, Outland, Northrend, Pandaria, and Jadraenor now use the leveling system stuff that they had in Legion. You may remember that when we were playing with Legion with Wanderer and Shell, like, we could just go to whatever zone in whatever order, and it didn't really matter. And that's because the game actually just had them scale to your level. Uh, they're doing that now throughout the game, all over the place. And so... Thought that that'd be an interesting way to replay the game. One of my, you you might remember that one of my issues I had with the leveling before, w among other things, was the fact that like you would, because they made it so much faster and easier to level, you would just out level a zone in like ten minutes. It felt like, and so like you couldn't do like a, a quest chain or hang out or get like doing the like. You can never like get in the groove that you normally used to get to in, in Vanilla WoW, where you run around and you get the quests and you go to that area and then you route back to get the other the next quests and check out the next area and you kind of like go into a loop of exploring the zone and going to different chunks of it and stuff like that. Uh, in the new thing, you would just out level the zone almost immediately and then you can't get more experience there anymore because you're now too high of a level, so you have to leave. So so much of your time would spent would, like relocating to the next zone because you already out leveled the last one and you're already one shotting everybody because you're too high of a level and stuff. Which really I think just made everyone want to just queue to, into dungeons so they could just spam their way through the whole experience anyway. And even the dungeons only also had fixed levels so you can only do them at certain times and stuff like that. Now it's supposed to all scale. The dungeons are supposed to scale, I believe. The level locations are supposed to scale. And so we were talking about that with my some of my friends during my one of my D&D nights, not the one that we do on YouTube, but the one that you that it's that's not on that's not public. And we were like, "Hey, why don't we give that a shot?" And then we had the idea of like, "Hey, the to the people, the other two people in this group, they've never ever played as Horde before." Uh, sorry, they've never played as Alliance before, period. They've always played Horde. One of them even has level 10, level 100, level 110, level whatever the cap is of uh, of every single different class. And they're leaders of a raiding guild, and they're downing, like, the latest... They're downing the final bosses already. Like, they're all in on that. And so I, th I thought it'd be an interesting idea to go back and do a leveling experience with these people while also showing them Alliance... Uh, at least showing one of them Alliance for the first time. And, uh going through the game again, just screwing around with some friends. Uh, a very different energy and banter and everything, because it's uh, not only because it's a different group and that always changes everything every time you change the people, but also because they're just, they're not Let's Players. They don't do that. So it's just a couple of regular ass people and then me, and we're just running around grinding and doing quests and hanging out. So expect one of these videos for a few hours every few weeks. It might, it might be once a week, might be once every other week. We're going to try to meet up periodically and just go through the game. So check check it out and watch the series if you want. Or otherwise, uh, it probably won't be a very frequent spam because I'm probably going to just upload each session as a single video for those that want it. The two people in question are Marty and Nick. Uh, Marty and Nick are both from the Twilight Imperium streams, so you either are well aware of who they are or you have not been watching those and you've never seen them before. Or, uh, Marty has been in two seasons of Unfairnament and was in a string of those Let's Tries recently, so he, he's shown up here and there. Enjoy! Given the recent political upheaval in Ironforge, the gnomes have suddenly found themselves unwelcomed guests within the city. Leveraging their ingenious technologies and unquenchable spirit for adventure, the gnomes have begun to reevaluate their role within Cosmodon. Under the inventive leadership of high tinker Gelbin Mechatork, the gnomes now plan a daring campaign against the barbarous Trogs to retake their former capital of Gnomeregon. With the odds stacked against them, the gnomes are counting on brave heroes such as you to stand and be counted. Your people's greatest hour draws near. Yes! <laughs> I am the angriest Donald you will ever meet! Wait, who's no- oh, no chomps you. Right. Yeah. Right, I got- oh, weird, I show up in my own party on this UI. Yeah? Don't you normally? 
No? Uh, no, not really. In, in default, wow, you, you it's your four party members. And then your normal okay. health bar is where it normally is. Weird. Also, we almost made the same character. <laughs> you two did, yeah. <laughs> Good work. Listen, it just means that you're going to be the outcast of the group, obviously. You're going to have to deal with that. That's fine. <laughs> I can do this. All right. Wait, what do we do in Gnomelandia? <laughs> Gnomelandia? Uh, I don't know. We've got a debuff. We are irradiated. Exposed to high uh, levels we are, of radiation. We, are, we might as well explain why we're doing this, right? Which is that... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Apparently, they revamped the leveling system in this game. And now, they're supposed to scale based on your level instead of being uh, pointless and inconsequential the entire time. The way it has been for, like, the last four years. Where, like, everyone dies in one hit and you beat every zone in ten minutes and you can't get anything done. I fixed my name. You ch would you change your name to? Just Donald? Donald the Commando Jack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, do you have do you have context for what's going on here? Uh, they said that there's a political upheaval in Iron Forge that kicked the gnomes out. Does that mean anything to you? I I don't know the background on that. I imagine it is just convenient context for revamping gnome starting area into gnome gone. That's new for me. I thought they said they, like, the the intro cinematic thing said they were retaking gnome gone from the Yeah, trogs. that part, that part's normal, but supposedly we're kicked out from political upheaval. I'm like, that's news to me. Oh, I totally missed that part. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, they're inserting my dialogue into the quest, so it's like, I don't know how you managed to survive the radiation down here, squeegee jer. <laughs> I can't handle my name being mid conversation. <laughs> okay, so we're going after leper gnomes because of radiation down here. Okay. Well, let's kill some leper gnomes then. Yeah, let's murder our former comrades. Sweet. Hooray. Oh, there's, oh, there's... Leper... there's just a line of shot down leper gnomes running in this direction. <laughs> This gun does not look like it has the range that it apparently has. Oh no. He's evading. Alright, we've been playing for five minutes. And we've we already, already got an evade bug flag. enemy. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, uh, they've only they've only been working on that bug for 14 years. Right. <laughs> yeah, he's he's gonna stay that way. Huh. Let's let's find another gnome. <laughs> Any other gnome than that. Any will do. We have to go back there. <clears throat> right, so you were saying they revised the questing experience to do the... To, to essentially use their zone scaling technology that they've made for the new expansion so that you can do entire zones now without out leveling them in like four quests so you can actually experience story and then choose the story. your story yeah do we want do you want do we want to narrate these quests as we get them i mean we could you want to do a pirate yes. voice for every gnome in the entire game <laughs> <laughs> that means i'm gonna be talking i'm gonna i'll, I'll be doing nothing but the, the talking this entire <laughs> first like, couple hours i think i think we can pass on that can't you don't understand here. greatness. <laughs> forward in the middle of the large room. We're gonna we're gonna find Carvo Blast Bolt and get some further instructions. Daylight's burning. What percentage of quests in WoW do you think are reports somewhere else for further instructions? Thirty percent. Oh Jesus! You went even higher than I thought. And here's Carvo. Greetings. Yes, Nevin sent sent us. You may have noticed from down the ramp. <laughs> I mean, you were watching. We were just there talking. <laughs> we wa he watched us walk from him, which is in your line of sight. You can see him over there. <laughs> or, oh, we're going to get a teleport beacon. Use or it teleport to... six survivors to freedom and safety. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, this is what a, a survivor looks like. They have the word survivor on their head. That's their entire name. That's their identity as a person, obviously. Yeah, they have sweet hats, though. Sweet hat. Sweet hat. 
No, this one looks like a crazy gnome. Please help me. Oh yeah. I'm getting a not in a CM mouse over thing on my uh, like pinned quest log. So I can't use any of the items in there right now. Well, I guess it's fortunate that you have other people. The quest is bug for you, basically. Oh, hey, he's got he's got garbage covering his quest frame. Yeah, I'm oh, just fun. getting like a, a mouse over pop up saying I'm not in the challenge mode. It's like great. <laughs> I'm level one. I shouldn't be in a challenge mode right now. Now we've got to get to the loading room for decontamination. Loading, loading room. Here we go. Oh, I'm, oh, I am following an NPC that's directing me to the loading room. <laughs> well, I've got a robot rabbit for starting. It's nice of them to give hunters pets off the bat nowadays. Yeah. What's that daily quest? Gnome hunters don't even have to tame an animal. They just get a, a robot. <laughs> a robo rabbit. Kind of makes me want to just be able to keep one the entire playthrough. Like, just always have a oh. rabbit. <laughs> You don't always have a have robot to ever switch. Yeah, I want to have entirely mechanical pets the entire playthrough. I wonder if there's enough versions. There are. You actually have to get mechanical pet training though if you want to get the later, the interesting oh. ones that came out in Legion. That's specific. Yeah. Before we send you to the surface, you have to go through decontamination. Decontamination in process. <laughs> Board the Sanitron 500. Exo okay. Presley has the deck. This looks safe. Oh, it looks. Oh, yeah. We're just getting. Oh, the, this oh. does not look fun. This looks like, like a car wash for gnomes. For people. <laughs> yeah. The claw. The claw decides who will stay and who will go. Well, I didn't get to ride a Sanatron. I'm disappointed. What? Oh, <laughs> did you not click in time and it just completed for you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Very sad. <laughs> It's fine. You don't need fun. You're just experiencing this for the first time after playing the game for like over a decade. Yeah. It's it's fitting you to be left out. Hi, Torben. Yeah. Send me this. Oh. Oh, we can just go to the surface. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. At which point I'm we'll over, probably immediately start waiting. doing dwarf quests. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Squeegee Jer. <laughs> Sque Squeegee Jer. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm mashing that complete button and nothing's happening. Just uh -oh. press escape and then you. Hey. click on him again. Now, once again, meet with with Muffinous Chrome Brew. Daylight's burning. Okay. It's especially brutal in the, easy, in the early parts where it's like every quest is meet a guy again. No, that uh, guy. Now go meet this guy. Meet oh. our class trainers. I get to speak. Friend to the small. <laughs> G, friend to the small. <laughs> you zoom all the way out, you actually have trouble seeing your character. Introduce yourself to Mechatork. Okay. You can do that. Did you just say Mechatork? Yeah. Oh. I tinker Mechatork. Okay, then. Yeah. Oh, Torque. That's what do you very different. Mechatork. <laughs> Mechatork? Very <laughs> very different uh, very different implications. It's an important <laughs> distinction to have. It's yes. Oh, we're learning about Nomergon. Yeah, let's learn about Nomergon. There's gnomes there, and then there weren't gnomes there <laughs> when bad stuff happened. End of story. Need all the weapons, inventions, and soldiers we can so get. Quiet. Where are Thermoplug's defense forces? No, 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 no! I won't allow you into my kingdom, you sucker! I won't allow it! And immediately out of an atomic protection system! Just take it by them all! It's a trap! That's a fully functional irradiator! 
Irradiator 3000 activated. Attention, emergency. You now have 10 minutes to reach minimum safe distance. 10 minutes? <laughs> Plenty of time to disarm the device. Hinkles, hand me that worrying bronze gizmo and some fresh spring water. Cockspin, toss me that dirty trog cloth and a handful of copper bolts. 10 minutes? You left the factory setting on? Give me the controller, you idiot! Attention, emergency. You now have... Seconds. We gotta get out of here! Lightning Lightning force, Demas back quickly! No, we were forced to they retreat. Put a, they Thermal put a Star Trek and a Star Wars reference in there. Behind the radiation, sending I'm his crony actually crush sad that I missed it. He stopped talking here for on the so surface. long that I just left. Oh, you guys left? Yeah. Oh, there was a whole like video play. Oh. Like holograms what? are talking to each other and telling the story of the fall of Nomergon. Oh. That would have been cool. Yeah, there was a whole cutscene and everything. Yeah. I was wondering how you guys were gone so fast. I'm like, I, I might have delayed like five seconds, but you guys were gone for like a whole minute early. I'm no. like, how was I that behind? Like he finished a, he finished a line and I stood here for a moment and nothing happened. And I'm like, yeah. oh, I guess that's Yeah, it. he walked up to the hologram and, and then started the radio play about how Nomergon fell. Oh, okay. And it well, featured I'm it's glad a trap. You're recording this because then I can watch it later. <laughs> it featured it's a trap and to beam me up lap forge. Like a little little forest there. Now we're just scrounging for parts. Yep. Better scrounge for parts. <laughs> so are you guys about to down the last uh the last boss of the current uh content or something? We have already killed him on normal mode. We're about to kill him on heroic. Because you're talking about like needing a break once you finish this next boss or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're working on him on heroic. It's getting really close. I see the... loot's still not instanced. <laughs> uh for some stuff it is. I had to divert course because the Time Lord was taking up everything right in front of me. I'm like, no. Are you not getting credit for it? No. Oh. It's one of those, it's an OG quest where you have to pick up every object individually despite being in a party. Uh, why? <laughs> they refused to the progress. Part? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Where are the other ones? They've all been grabbed by other characters. What do I do? Oh, they're surprisingly far away. They're just, they're scattered. If you look at your mini-map, there should be sort of like a blue outline yeah. of the effect area. I was surprised to see that it goes all the way back to like where we we warped in. I'm gonna have to recustomize so many things. Parts of my interface are overlapping each other and like uh, click uh, looting stuff doesn't auto loot it. <laughs> and I have to like remember to shift click it. I'm gonna be doing a lot of like dumpster diving through my settings after this. <laughs> It's a nightmare when you don't remember how- when you're not super familiar with WoW from playing it every day anymore, like, trying to find a specific setting in this game, ever. There's a- even, there's a huge even list. Even if you use the menus often, it can be a nightmare trying to find specific settings. Let's- let's be Do honest. Do you ever just Google it? <laughs> no. Like, like, which- which word they hide this one? No. Never- never quite Googling it. Squee GG's. Squee- Squee Jeejers Companion. Is a GS9X multibot. Yeah. yeah. GS9X multibot. Multibot. Up geysers. Oh, secondary quest. Yeah. We get. They. They're trusting us with more than one quest at a time now. Oh man, I don't know if we can accept this much. Pos this much a uh, responsibility. Definitely right. not. When do we get Mecha Shredders? I want one of those. <laughs> the robot ostriches. Oh, another quest. What? You do wield weapons at like level two? This, yeah, Windwalkers use double melee weapons. Oh, weird. Destroy six living contaminations. 
spell. That Man. looks like one. Get it. Get it. Yeah. What a horrible way to be summarized as a living creature. You contamination. <laughs> It's like the oh, this grand man. total of your being. Early level warrior is awful. <laughs> but yeah. I don't get to press my awful. button unless I have enough rage. <laughs> your one button. <laughs> oh, when the monk starts out, he starts off with no abilities. It's amazing. Wait, what? <laughs> You just <laughs> auto attack for a while until they finally give you an attack. Uh, they they give you Tiger Palm now. It may have changed. Oh, are we doing do over here? Oh, kill things. Got it. And clean up geysers. New yeah. one see. We're looting oh, things from the sludge while also rare. dealing with the geysers. This guy's a rare. Let's kill the rare. He's oh. level four. Where is he? Uh. Uh. Oh, there he is. Gibble. Wait, sorry. His name's what? <laughs> Gibble Wilt? Gibble, sure. Gibble Wilt. Like that Gibble Wilt. You know what you oh. did. Oh, who's got a second ability now? This guy. Oh, man. Jealous. I hit level three and got nothing for it. Oh, I, I got charge. <sighs> charge is so satisfying when you first get it. Damn. Because especially when you're in, as a new player, you're like, nothing lets you move like this. And then out of nowhere, you're just teleporting towards enemies, basically, in this weird... Where are the toxic geysers? Flash nonsense. They're, they're in the pools here. I've already gotten a couple of them. Is that a geyser? I have no credit. I think this might be a geyser. Oh, you have to bring your bot over to him. Got it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's all these dark spots in the water. Okay. And your little bot just kind of whirlwinds it until it's gone. Oh, uh, and I didn't get credit for that. B -b 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 blade storm. I've gotten credit for two of them, so I think you can get credit for somebody else's, or I cleared one without noticing. That could be the case. The we just did that one at the same time. My rabbit is oh yeah it is auto attacking stuff. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was actually helping or not, or if it was just hanging out next to me. Oh, I need two more geysers. Oh, there's another pool over there. Been playing for a few minutes and I already have like this cloud of followers around me. Welcome to being a hunter. <laughs> they never let you get too pets, did they? If you're uh, a BM hunter. Yeah. You can have present. two pets now. Yeah, uh, that sounds awesome. When so you're one, max level, yeah. yeah, one of them is a. Um, oh jeez, I just got shot into the air. One of them's like tied to your artifact weapon. Um, you so you don't actually get to choose what the pet is, but you no. can transform it to look like other things. I want the hunter to just slowly transform into like a, the uh, witch doctor from Diablo Three. Oh, we just have a weird ragtag team of followers. There. To run so far to turn this in. <laughs> it's okay, you get to roll every now and then to go slightly faster. I don't have that. Well, you will. I get it at level five. And then none of us <laughs> will have it. Why do I get heroic leap anyways? Is that a skill? Yeah, yeah, 26. It basically lets me jump super far. You kids and your newfangled skills they added in time passing. Hey, you, you get disengaged like at level 10 or something like that. Disengage pretty sweet. From what I've learned of seen of hunters in vanilla, their two skills are feign death and feign death. Burning. As they abandon fights, but in a weird janky way where it looks like they just kind of tripped for a second because they only feign death for like a split second and never actually the animation play out. So their character like wobbles like a plank for a second and somehow all the aggro changes. We're going to hire Jessup McCree. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you don't what? like that you don't like that name, Mr. Overwatch? <laughs> Jesse McCree. <laughs> you don't wanna go hire Mr. you don't wanna go hire McCree? Yeah, but he, they're calling him a demolitions expert. Like come on. Be consistent. <laughs> Which one do you think came first? Uh, 
the sketch of McCree that they did for StarCraft 2. Oh. <laughs> is McCree a character? That's one of the Warper Watch characters, right? Yeah. And it's also in StarCraft 2? Is it the no. same character? No, no, no. Early, early sketch of McCree. I think it's, I think it was McCree. It's just a name they use a lot. I, I guess. Or maybe it was a character concept for StarCraft that got scrapped. Yeah. I think one of the things that seals, that drives it home how long WoW's been along around is when you go on like WoWhead to look up a specific quest and you see five results for it because they've used the same name in every expansion at some point. There he is. McCree's Mountain Movers Incorporated. Never forget the... Who is this titan of a man? <laughs> Never forget the uh, poop quest every expansion. The requisite. Requisite. Oh, jeez. He's got an accent. Get me explosives back. And the rest of the girl. <laughs> uh, those blasted trogs have me men caged all around Frostmane Hold. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I look like a capable monk, though. Go I south to Frostman Hold and kill any of those trogs you find. Any yeah. one of them could be carrying me kegs of powder. We're going so far south. To, like, right here. <laughs> Literally, he's just overlooking the location, standing <laughs> slightly out of range, as all of his friends are just imprisoned and he's just watching. Clearly within line of sight of both the, the captives and the captors. <laughs> It's hey, really man. hard to reconcile <laughs> what he's doing there. Like grade A level scouting right there. <laughs> oh, there's just a bunch of KO'd trolls everywhere. Yeah, because Nick's running around like a madman, wrecking their faces. Like he's mm. gonna have he's gonna have them all killed before he even <laughs> run up to them. No, not even the trogs, the, the trolls. You see those guys? Oh. There's just like six trolls laying on the floor in the camp. It's weird. Oh. Yeah, that was me too. You guys just didn't see it. <laughs> casual, casual, casual brushing of shoulder. <laughs> you had to be there. Hey, man. I'm angry. I need something to kill. Oh, do we have to go break a whole bunch of these cages now? Just one more, right? Unless you weren't getting credit for those somehow. Were you oh, rushing so fast you were- Alright. We did, I did all. I just did all the killing already. <laughs> they never changed the sound effects though, that's for sure. Back to McCree. All the sound effects go right there in the nostalgia hole. Well, that's more like it. We may get around to blowing something up after all. As everyone explodes at once. <laughs> Not me! Because <laughs> Harry pulled the truck and then kept running, so he decided he wanted to take a bite out of me instead. <laughs> you deserved it. Detonate the truck tunnel. Maybe. That just sounds... Probably. That sounds innuendo -y. We waiting for someone? Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I had a piece of gear. Nick I had to equip it. Nick was starting and stopping in sync with me, so I thought he was my pet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> maybe he is. Here's some deep sleepers. We're murdering people. I'm firing a blunderbuss. It's mm. a very quiet blunderbuss. <laughs> it's a silenced blunderbuss. Do you guys Backing. have skills yet? I have one damaging skill. I, have my, I just have my starting shot. I, 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 mean, I, have, one. I have charge, which does some damage on its own. I'm starting to wonder if I'm learning skills and it's just not auto-equipping in this interface or something. 
Well, mine didn't. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. I should check then. Oh, oh, apparently pulls happened. Wow. Was that scripted? Probably. So many of them. Now we detonate the tunnel? Oh. Press the button. Boom. There you go. Get a thingy? That looks safe. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Got last Not Jedi in here. Decisions. <laughs> that escalated dramatically. They wanted you to, to know that that ceiling is no longer there. I see they added animations to WoW. Oh, we found uh, one troll that's a, that's awake. <laughs> Fixed it. He was a rare spawn. Aren't we all rare spawns when you think about it? No. Oh. <laughs> Definitely Take not. that self-identity. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it was nothing to me. Caves are literally my least favorite part of WoW. I'm so glad that we've gotten to experience one you, this early into questing. Because you go through the beginning of the cave, then exit through the same That's entrance funny. usually and loop yeah. back. Yeah. And then usually the people at the beginning of spawned again. Great to meet you. Take this report back. You feel the, the explosion way up here. Oh, now we get to run some more. Yeah. That oh, the running! We gotta oh, keep up charging. that 30% quota of go talk to the other dude. I'm done with you. <laughs> so I, I did have concussive shot. Apparently. Oh, a, a CC ability already? Apparently, yeah. Seems necessary. Oh, man. Seeing, seeing concussive shot just brought me back to playing back then and like how my uh, re the realization that my brother had specifically chosen a class that would counter mine so that just so that he would always win if we ever dueled <laughs> so I was playing as a rogue and he's playing as a hunter and, <clears throat> and just like the prick he was he would put a trap down and then just sit on it and just wait <laughs> you don't have to be on top of him you in more fact, or less, nowadays, you more or less rogue, did in vanilla <laughs> rogues can pretty much hit you from like 10, 20 yards away. We didn't even have a teleporting skill yet back then. So like I could spam a throwing attack or I could I could waste a few gold to cast blind once because <laughs> it cost money back then. Why, hello there. Time for Crush Cog's arsenal. Welcome back, Squeegee Jeejer. Squeegee Jeejer. Squeegee Jeejer. It's a hard name. It's not, not going to get it. <laughs> Crush Cog's minions at oh, Crush Cog's arsenal. Second oh, West. God damn it. <laughs> You've made a gross miscalculation. Use the techno grenade. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's a grenade that plays Sandstorm. Yes. No. <laughs> oh, no. Use, use the techno grenade and the EDM dagger and and conquer no more again again the, the dagger of edm oh man do you only get to do you only get to choose one of your uh specializations now no you can play the other ones there's no longer like uh oh, i mean oh i mean sorry i was phrased that wrong do you only get to choose out of two of them at first now or no you no. can oh, play all of them oh wait i'm currently a in beast master by default you oh. actually don't have a specialization by default. They just put them in that tree or that page. Really? I, I thought you just had like a baseline level of skills that were special. Uh, when, when I open my spell book, my current skills are all in the Beastmaster page. Yeah, mine shows me in Windwalker. Oh, mine shows arms. Okay, that explains I've why heard... I can see Colossus, the Colossus <laughs> Smash. I heard they added. Did they add a specialization for hunters where they lose their pet? No, it's a talent. You're not required to do it by any means. Oh. I thought 
Wait, didn't they have that baseline for marksman? No. In the in the beta though, for maybe? Legion. Like I, I thought we tested Ever. that and there was just an absolute shitstorm yeah. over it. Could be. No, the thing I tried in beta was the survival spec, which wasn't any fun. It seemed really weird that you basically wanted to save up charges of that mongoose bite or whatever it was. And then just like spam the crap out of it as much as you possibly could. And there's still a bit of that. It's it's a little confusing the way that they've crafted the spec. I I haven't tried it really since beta, so I don't know if it got better. But I don't feel like it did. Necessity is the first cousin Back of the will be pleased. <laughs> okay. You you gotta please the Mechatork. Oh with, yeah. With techno grenade. <laughs> Never actually oh. used the techno grenade, actually. New ability roll. Oh, why? Why bad do I need attack bad news? Trainer? Bad news, Marty. No tanks. No tanks. Ever again? That was the quest we just turned in. Uh, I guess he can't be a tank now. Okay. All turned on his head. I'm okay with this, really. <laughs> you have a great I got victory roll. It's okay. We got to go talk to somebody again. Yeah, now we gotta walk all the way down there. The Jarvi Shadow Step. That's okay though, because now I can roll. Oh, he jerk. Oh no. <laughs> He's gonna He's leave moving us behind slightly you. faster than us. Between the roll Come and the back. amulet, you guys can't keep up. Come back. <laughs> Hang on. I, I might be able to do this. How dare Apparently you? Apparently we get a cameo from Ashley in this video. Yeah. <laughs> what was the mount that we got for the heirloom achievement? The 35 heirloom achievement? Greetings. I don't know. There's a mount? Yeah. It's like, oh, it's a chauffeur. Oh. Use the paintinator to blind five of Crush Cog sentry bots. All right. right. You're oh, a kid well, now. You're a squid now. Let's yeah, we're we're playing Splatoon now. Let's do it. <laughs> Here they are. This That's is fantastic. Let's go. Red team first uh uh balding team. What? I have hair. What are you talking about? Woo! All gnomes are balding on the inside. They, um, have, ba they have balding souls. <laughs> I'm balding in real life. <laughs> You're like the hairiest person we know. Yeah, but my dad's genes are going to catch up to me sooner or later. Well, at least your last name doesn't literally mean bald man. Is oh, that I mean... what yours means? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's, ex that's absolutely what Ballard means. And my dad's bald. <laughs> and my grandfather's bald. My other grandfather's still fine, though, so who knows? Mine stems from old Weird. French for one. Maybe, maybe I'll get the other grandfather's genes because my brother's blonde and he's the only person in the family because genes are weird. Can I help you? Our cousin, the dwarves of Ironforge. Okay, now now we're gonna go help the dwarves. We're uniting with the dwarves to fight Razlo Crushcog, the greatest crime lord in the entire region, which is why we're fighting him at level five. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Hey, do not discriminate by level. Heroes come in all sorts of shapes yeah, and sizes. Yeah, it's just some of them are shittier yeah. heroes. <laughs> Emphasis on the sizes part. I'm yeah. really surprised I have a shot called Cobra Shot that doesn't do poison damage. Nature? It just does physical damage, and it's called yeah. Cobra Shot. And its what? only gimmick is that it shoots a projectile that goes -doo 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 across the screen like it's wibbly wobbly Cobra. I'm I'm ready to start the assault. Mechjineer Thermoplug refuses to Thermoplug. to prevent us from rebuilding our beloved God, Those mounts are so janky. Here has thwarted his plans at every turn. My God. Now the dwarves of Ironforge. He said squeegee for my for me. 
<laughs> he did for me too. Our friend Squeegee Jer. Squeegee Jer is the real hero of this campaign. I am. I'm, just, I'm glad that everyone can acknowledge this. All right. Here what we, we need go. to do is we need to find all the zones that have the highest gnome concentration so that we can There's embrace Razzlo this, this terminology. Right there. He's got a mecha spider. <laughs> and he's level 83. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a problem. This will be interesting. Uh, <laughs> He's got 305,000 HP. Party. Tank yeah. him. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll go scan over here. I got this. Oh no. I don't got this anymore. <laughs> uh, we're fine. Everything's fine. Uh, how did you escape the detection of my sentry bots as we walked across an open plane? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I tried. Oh, oh wow! You, oh wow! You actually tried to tank. I'm surprised they instructions. I'm surprised they let you pull aggro. And like, it was clearly like a super fake scenario. We have to beat defeat his henchmen that are shooting us with, with poison lasers. Yes. Poison poison spray. Oh, it's what I what I do in our D and D campaign. And yeah. then, and then they always resisted with their con save, and it was like a wasted turn. Yeah. Hey, it still does half damage, right? No, it doesn't. No. Not at all. Nope. Can oh. uh, any cantrip that can be resisted by a save just doesn't do anything if they if they resist it. <laughs> That's the big risk of free spells. That's why you've seen me start to try to use Firebolt, which takes an attack roll, because I'm like, surely that'll, at least it's my roll instead of their con. And then I fail that too. Uh, I'm trying Everyone to- Everyone using their Mechatorque Beam? Yes. Oh. I am, but it's not doing anything. Mechatorque Cannon. Mechatorque Cannon. Mechatorque Cannon. No, not over there, Keith. <laughs> I, I you, was you trying to it. click on the item and accidentally clicked past the item. <laughs> yeah, that happened. I may have been paying no attention for the first minute of us fighting random mobs over and over again. This is... Oh. It, it's like not doing anything half the time. It's painting the target for the missiles. For Mega High Leader Megatork special weapons. Are we supposed to be operating the, the guns somewhere? I don't think so. I uh, think if we just sit here and spam Megatork this, Ray. then we don't have to fight any more techs. <laughs> we'll eventually have this. this? He's, such, he's such a high level enemy that every attack we do misses. You know, I wonder if this mob's HP Megatork is actually missiles. bugged. Remember how they're having problems with scaling for some things? Oh no. Oh, so this... So these rays were probably supposed to like two shot him instead of take this long. Oh no. Or what if he scaled based on how many people were in the party and tripled his health bar? And like I'm not even seeing the things hit him. There's a giant explosion every now and then. Yeah, but I've clicked this thing one. like 20 times and seen maybe two hits. I think he's attacking on a timer, and we're just painting the target over and over again. I'm okay with this. <laughs> oh, we did it! He was no—he stood no chance against our almighty skill. Did you get credit? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Was that a moment of genuine fear that we'd have to redo the whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hear more Mecha Talk missiles. Mecha Talk beam. <laughs> Waspinator terrorize. Yeah. Oh no! An alarm is attacking me. What will I do? <laughs> this is a very cartoonish, like home security system. The one's at next Twilight Imperium session. Uh, <laughs> next Saturday? Crush Cog 
Have we actually scheduled that already? We were talking about it at D and D. If you don't remember, I'm trying to remember. Oh man, this like Gungan celebration we're having here. The music is super weird for me. Are you guys getting the music? It's it sounds like the, it sounds vaguely like the end of a Star Wars movie. I can't hear it over me dying. <laughs> <laughs> The cough is still here. Why are you dying? He's still got the cough. Oh. Same here. All right, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> the celebration needs to get cut short. You don't want to hear the five second loop for like three more hours? No, no, <laughs> not really. No, <laughs> no. Uh, what was that? Yeah, that was Nick. Oh, uh, that's your charge. Sound like a meteor struck next to us. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what just happened? My way of attempting to keep up with Marty, which is I'm not even rolling, is to attack any random thing that you uh, that happens to be between us. To charge anything that happens to be between us yeah. on a 20 second cooldown. <laughs> Squeegee jerk. Why is my sword blue? Oh shoot, I have a lightsaber. You have a oh. lightsaber. What the heck? Yes. Why do you have a lightsaber? Yes. Because I was shown the ways before. Affect <laughs> him. He's got a very lightsaber. That is actually the name of the weapon that he's got. It's equipped. called a very lightsaber. Yeah. Of course it is. What else would it be called? A really dramatic right. weapon to have at level five. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got that at level. Well, I mean, no huge difference, but I got it like level two or something when we went to the class trainings. Big kegs aren't going anywhere. Bring the sample cask. Okay. I guess we can do this. He wants us to deliver beer samplers to the Karanos Resort. Yeah. You killed that poor bunny rabbit. <laughs> How could you? Before you could charge it. That point blank <laughs> range. Charge actually has is the only thing that I think has minimum range still. It would be kind of weird if you could charge somebody that you were physically already fighting. Oh man, so many quest thingies. Oh, we're in we're in dwarf land. Proper there's a, now, there's right? a web of gold. Yeah, we're on like land yeah. Yeah. This is like the second zone of the dwarf area where you end up if you do the beginning dwarf stuff. I think. Ragnar Thunderbrew. Thunderbrew. Listen, everything's about mo just everything's about food and beer, with the dwarves. That is a gross oversimplification of their culture. I'm sure they have many more things going on. Just bring them this, bring them this meat and this beer, and now these shimmer weeds. <laughs> Every now and then they fight a bear, and then for all the tech stuff, they go next door to the gnomes. Now we're gonna kill some frost mains. Okay. I should figure out how to get inside. The frost main sears. Always trogs. I never saw burly trog. I think those are only in the guarding zone for the dwarves. I had a really stupid oh, late night experience where we were we just stayed up until like six o'clock in the morning overnight, and then for some reason, when it was super late, we decided to make brand new dwarves with stupid faces and stupid names, and we couldn't stop laughing at the name burly trog from the starting zone. We would just say it in more comical tones over and over again until we were driving each other insane. Burly Trog. Burly Trog. Burly Trog. Burly Trog. And then we'd, then every time we'd, 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 every time we'd cross the zone, we'd see another one, like, and it would just start over. Keeper Assistant. What does that even mean? Anyone know where we get these boar ribs from? What boar ribs? For the. Beer-based boar ribs. 
I don't have that. <laughs> oh, there it, it is. Tender boar ribs. You might, it might be a crafting quest. Uh, buy a griffin to iron forge. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. You can't <laughs> make me. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> Going into Iron Forge. <laughs> no, the, the base level cooking doesn't have it, so we got to be able to buy them. So. Yeah, you're supposed to bring me boar ribs and rhapsody malt from the tavern here, and then he'll teach you how to make it. What can I do for you? Okay. So, so in first the tavern. He to, yeah, he wants you to actually buy him food for free, basically. Well. Oh, is there like a butcher somewhere? I I didn't yeah, see the. Innkeeper. Yeah, they're actually not sold by the innkeeper. Yeah, uh, that's why. Oh, first aid trainer, general supplies. How are ya? See you soon. Be really weird if the general supplies guy had it. <laughs> kind of expected the cooking trainer to have it. But... Yeah, it's weird. It's like some of the cooking trainers. Oh are my god, also achievements! Vendors. No, those are recipes. They're just. Uh... Are we stealing the stuff from downstairs? No. I, I wonder if we just have to kill the boars. I, but where? To Thoughtbot. No. No. <laughs> no. Oh, it's outside. Thoughtbot probably. doesn't exist anymore, does it? Uh, Didn't Thoughtbot get absorbed by like Wowhead or something? That was the one that had like a dramatic gold logo of like a dragon or something and it got replaced by like a red yeah. rocket. The local trapper who used to bring me supplies enlisted in the king's army. Maybe you can help me out. Maybe you have to go find him because he's dead out there. If you, if you look on the map, it's got a wide area for the boar ribs. Yeah, yeah. no, we're supposed to kill those boars. Okay. Got it. Okay. Those boars straight up say it on them. Maybe we go in the direction of... Uh, Frost main aggression and find some boars along the way. Let's go kill some wildlife. Do this. Did you did you grab the perfect stout as well? Yeah. Okay. The perfect stout, beer bastard boar ribs, frost main aggression, and ride to iron forge. Yep. Didn't see any. Boars okay, I feel like thing. racials used to be more dramatic than this. Arcane resistance reduces arcane damage taken by one percent. Yeah. It used to be like... Didn't it used to be 10 or something? They no nerfed the... Racials by a lot. In general. I don't see any boars over here. I feel like racials used to have numbers that were... Any other... Anything other than negligible at the very least. I think there's a difference between what the mini-map shows and what the actual map shows. Uh, the, well, there, there were boars south of us. Oh, I was, wait, I started, never mind. I started running towards them, but then you guys started running north, so I, I re rerouted to do this quest first. Perfect. Good job. Way to be a team player. Hey, this looks like that place out of the scenario. I think Shimmer Ridge might be where we get the Shimmer Weed. Just making a vague guess here. Yeah, you get the Shimmer Weed out of the little basket looking thing. When am I ever going to see a Frostman that's not sleeping? They're such a uh, sleepy people. I. I mean, I just killed one, so there's that one. <laughs> yeah, I think these are dead. They look boars. Oh, these are tame. So I'm just being a dick. <laughs> just Die. Like, Die. 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 <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a problem. We're going to be fighting over that shimmer weed. All right. Split up. <laughs> no, I split up and then I, I split up, but then he split up in that direction. <laughs> oh, no. We have to collectively find 21 shimmer weed containers. Couldn't be that hard. I need to find the I need to find the font cider for this mod and change it to something legible. It looks like somebody scratched something 
uh, with their nails in like a horror movie to make all the text in, that I'm getting for, for combat. Is, is that weird. built into Tuck UI or whatever? Apparently. It's bizarre because it's a UI that's clearly designed to be like sleek and minimal compared to the normal UI, and yet the font they chose is a nightmare. Huh. There's probably oh, no. more settings in there. But it's a weird default. There we go. Oh, right. The gibberish. Where they replace all the words with other words. What? Oh, because he's speaking Zandali. Yeah, dim wa he sia fi so you do. That's what trolls sound like, apparently. Burr, burr. Burr, burr, keck. Keck. Top keck. That, the top keck, not the bottom keck. Good, we need more killing. I'm good. Gotta kill some boars, though. We need to kill a lot of boars. Why is Keith all the way up there? Uh, I followed the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sound racist, but old gnomes kind of look the same. <laughs> Wait, we can solve this problem. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh no. Why would you do such a thing? Level now the, now six. those haven't changed. Mechanical has reached level six. Wow, that's distracting. Good job, <laughs> mechanical. Oh wow, that really is his yeah. My pet's yeah. just named Mechanical, and that's it. Until you name it, his <laughs> name will be Mechanical. <laughs> Should rename him Placeholder. You can do that. All you gotta do, I think you just right-click on him and click Rename. For the first one, anyway. Can you not rename them afterwards? Are the no, description so... renaming things still a thing? Yeah, after the first rename, you have to get an inscription renaming thing. Oh, God. At least I think you do. It's been a while since I tried to rename a pet. Oh my god. I was, looking at, I was looking at what my name would be backwards for my pet name, and it would make my uh, pet's name Reggie Gex. This has to happen now, as soon as I figure out how to do it. <laughs> they make you pay to rename your pet name? No. No? Grizzled Den. Maybe not. I mean, uh, that looks like a boar down there. Yeah, those are boars. They're just all dead it's, already. It's disconcerting to me that that level six dude is riding around in a vehicle. Yeah, it's the Hairloom Mount. Oh. Uh, That's what I was trying to look for. It's gotcha. also that thing where, like, as a low level. There's a crack board. Hey, look, a As a low level, like, horde, you can just have a motorcycle. It was a weird experience. Like, hey, I'll run around this brand new Torin monk I just made, and then suddenly I was just driving around in this ridiculous, like, tank motorcycle. At, like, level 20, maybe, or less? Oh, there's another one. There's a culling taking place. Must find and kill all it's like, boars. We've already established this, like it's like an endangered species, and we can't find any more of them anywhere. But we're gonna <laughs> we're just gonna scrounge for like the last two we can find. Hey, look! Hey, look! There they are! <laughs> oh my god! Quickly before that wolf finds it. First. <laughs> we did it. We, did we, it. we ended their entire race. All right. Back no, there's, down. there's a couple left. We also oh, need a rhapsody malt. I don't know where that comes from. I don't I see think, it on my map. I think that's what we were confusing, is that they it's a, get me some tender boar ribs and a Rhapsody Malt from the inn. I think they just meant the Rhapsody Malt's in the inn. Oh, yeah, the innkeeper sells it. 
die, rabbit. Oh, look, it can only be one. The mecha I'll let rabbit. This one live. <laughs> the, the, repopulate. Go on. Get busy before the next hunting season begins. Somebody want. Somebody's gonna want to make an alt. <laughs> and your race needs to be ready. <laughs> Are you prepared? <laughs> The only thing I miss about my current in, uh, interface mod is that I'm so used to measuring my experience gain by the pips that are in the default experience bar. Oh. Just like Man, ingrained. I never, I never got in on that. So many people would describe how many bubbles they had left. I'm like, what the heck are you talking about? Because it was out of 20, which is even better than percentages out of 10. <laughs> okay, I joked about... Uh, wiping out racist, but then the next quest is culling the Wendigos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, got boots. Really a tone change, isn't it? Boots with the fur. Said the innkeeper sells the uh, malt. Yep. Like at first, we were just like dealing with lepers and trying to deal with plagues and and all these problems, and then go to the dwarves. It's like wipe out all the races in this entire valley. It needs to just be empty snow and us. I wonder. Uh, I wonder what the difference of opinion the gnomes are having with the dwarves. <laughs> Can't imagine. Where'd you find the? There it is. Yeah, on the innkeeper. Rhapsody mount. What do trainers yes. do now? Nothing. They <laughs> have class quests occasionally for you to do. Like, hey, go into this dungeon and do this thing. Yeah. But most of the time, you find those by accident. You're already like 10 levels higher than you need to be to go do it. Yeah. And the weapon is worse than whatever you... Oh, no. We the, class into the class quest used to be camp. super mandatory. Uh oh my god your reward for turning in the alcohol is a is is a, is a song <laughs> The malt is brewed the boars are dead and before all is done and every anything said we will have to fight for first dibs on these savory beer bastard boar ribs See you soon. Okay Yeah sure okay. Uh-huh right. Mhm mm Mhm mm Mhm some uh, poor guy put all their time into these quest descriptions. <laughs> you know, I don't think they would consider themselves poor for the experience. <laughs> or poor Probably. troll plow with the... <laughs> Forced to watch from afar. Pilfered supplies and... Pulling the Wendingles. Oops. Hey, look, another I went the wrong free. way. Except these guys are dwarves. Hey, it's a, it's my family. They're commando jacks. Hey, look, the Wendigo. Yeah, I remember class quests were like a big deal in vanilla. At least for like, at least as a rogue, I remember like if you wanted to get new like cornerstone abilities, you had to actually do an entire like quest chain once you hit like level like fifteen and twenty five and stuff. It was like an event. You're doing like a weird, like specialized stealth oriented mission and your reward to be like learning how to use blind and stuff like that. I wish they had more of that. Or learned poison for the first time, I think was one of them. But that was also the era where you, where you had to save up your money on your account because you'd have to like manually buy new ranks of every skill. But every time you level up, like, yeah, I leveled up. Oh. My debt just increased by like eight gold. Supplies. Where are we supposed to get these supplies from? Uh, boxes on the floor by the looks of it. They're probably more in the cave. Since so we have to go in there anyway. I like more Wendigos. Yeah, I guess. Not. I guess we're an eight-man group now. Yeah, sure. We're no Morgan. <laughs> Except these guys are dwarves. Oh, well, you know. 
We're Titans raiding. among men by our standards. Hey. The dwarves really make you just question the proportions of the of the gnome body. <laughs> Where we are like 70% head. These guys are cramping my style. Yeah. Uh, do we all have to talk to this one, dude? On yep. Uh, Convey no, orders to Mountaineer... Dunstan, Lewin, and Valgrim. Be good. Okay. Yeah, my problem is I'm definitely not getting any supplies. Yeah, I need four more supplies. I need three more. And I need to find Valgrim. But he's right here. Oops. There Damn. you go. Valgrim. I have yet to get a single box. Found Rough. another box. Must do a good you. start. <laughs> Getting this box. Uh. Going even deeper into this cave to fight enemies that I don't need to fight. I heard you I like need. caves. You're a big fan. Big, big fan. You know, caves are pretty much the best part of WoW. Yeah. Man, you should try out a night elf where you go into a cave for, for the first quest. And then for the next quest, you go into the same cave. And then for the next quest, you go into the same cave. I think I remember being like that. You kill some dumb plants at the beginning, and then you go into the same caves over and over again for a while. I'm at five or six. I'm at five or six. I'm at zero six. Oh shit, a rare! Does he have pilfered supplies on him? I don't know. But that's, that's really the, the important detail for me here. right now. Go down He's when he gets to last. the fork. He's not gonna last. Holy s- Gotta hit him. Nah. I'm I'll so probably far respawn. away. Quick, though. Oh, wow, he's really big. Yeah, I mean, we could wait here and be in here in a second, probably. Probably. The, the low-level rare spawns are not very rare. I'd hope not, because the density of characters running around all the time would be a huge problem. Are you oh. cooking your... I mean, I only have one boar rib. I don't have any boar <laughs> meat. Oh, you're cooking the boar remains to use the recipe you got from the quest? No, you have to have cooking 10 to even learn the recipe. Oh. There's just this he, army of dwarves still running not around. down here. Okay, these dwarves yeah. are suspiciously on point with running together to the point where I think they're all bots. They are a group, and they have similar names, but they're a bunch of different classes. Yeah, I so saw I them split. I saw them splitting up too. So I was trying to get really suspicious of how they seemed to be running lockstep around the corners and everything, like they were like a hive mind. Have you ever guys Just because they have more coordination than us doesn't make them fun. No, that makes them not real. They're they're definitely doping. Hey Keith, there's two three boxes down here. Maybe oh, four shit. if we still need them. Because I have one so far. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a second one. Everywhere I go, I find empty space or I watch as a crate fades away. <laughs> oh my god, damn man. Have you guys ever actually been in a uh, a run where somebody had a bot? Yeah. Like we, I was stuck in the uh, the Naga low-level instance, and we were just stuck with like these two dwarves that were clearly like... One of them would constantly go into follow mode on the other one, and then like they couldn't get them to go over the... Uh, the jump the, thing. Over the jump. So, like they were just straight up stuck on that one jump with the... Uh, where, you, where you go across the uh, pillars in the water at the beginning. It was, e it was either... Either a bot or somebody like playing with their significant other and trying to teach them how to jump. <laughs> Which can be hard to, it's hard to tell the difference between those two sometimes. Things are finally respawning. So I went on, when I went on, went on to later play stuff with both Wander and Shell and saw Shell doing stuff sometimes, it's like, hey, yeah, that's behavior similar to what I thought would be a bot normally. 
And now I've got all the pilfered supplies. I just needed one room of nobody needing them. Yeah, and being near those uh, dwarves wasn't going to help. No. I don't the, think he's coming back. The army nah, of them. Let's get out of here. You guys have bags already? No. I have four six slot bags. I, I got two of them so far. One of them was a quest reward, so we all have that one. Yeah, but I've, I've managed to loot three six slot bags since then. I feel weirded out because I could have sworn that I had more skills than this last time I played a hunter at this level. Yeah, so, uh, should I say it, Marty? No. No? Okay. Okay, go ahead. So, uh, there's a rumor floating around that, uh, Celestalon is floating around Reddit. Completely honest, that Celestalon was trying to make the game like a four button game. Oh. Yeah, because when he got on the team, the whole pruning thing happened in WAD. Right? That's when that started happening? Yeah. Yeah. There's like this infamous Reddit post where he's like something about four buttons or something like that. It's like we started... I don't remember when it was exactly. I think it was before... Is either during or just before the release of Warlords of Draenor, it was when we started doing that original, like, Worgen leveling series, like, closer to when I first moved in here. And, uh... Like, I, I made an alt, uh... Yeah, because I, 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 I was, like, ranting about how, like, they made the aimed shot or whatever, or steady shot or something like that. So one of the ones that you had to stand still and charge for two seconds in vanilla was now like a thing that you could like shoot while running while also do auto attacking somehow and like nothing about it made sense. And so that would require me to have had that skill already at this level. Because I only played it for like one session. But so, but none of those skills are showing up right now. Weird. That was like only like two years ago. So they're just, like, actually removing skills from the game? They were. Yeah, like, they... Enhancement is probably one of the more complicated specs at six buttons. Beastmaster Hunters on the... On the less complicated end, I would say, as far as a rotation goes. You have, like, three main buttons, and it's a very low APM spec. <laughs> That's weird to think about. Yeah. Even even rogues used to have a bunch of buttons just in like Burning Crusade. You were stacking all your bleeds and setting up your and setting up your combos and slice and dice. Oh, there. There's this thing. They want us to head off to the the gyro mechanic gear and the constri constriction totems. Uh, hello, Mr. Motorcycle. <laughs> uh, I, are you going to introduce your chauffeur to us? <laughs> his name is Franklin Martin. He's quite good at his job. Franklin Martin? <laughs> Never trust a man with two first names. What about four first names? <laughs> this is important information. Do you have four first names? Yes. Yeah, your last name is definitely a first name. I know because we, I met you while we were playing games with somebody with that first name. <laughs> we brought him over and he shared your last name with his first name. Yep. Different spellings, but yes. How many ways can you spell that name? What? Now I'm just more confused. There's at least two. I can't think of any other spelling of that name. There's L E W I S L O U I S. Isn't that L Lois? No. Oh, but that's how Lewis and Clark is spelled, huh? Oh yeah. Oh, I should. Stop Wait, I, so you guys do have it spelled the same name, name than you and Lewis? 
I do? Something about gyromancer gears? It was a thing where I was keeping track of the names of the people in Unfairnament at one point, and I had to, re and I was like, doing the thing where it's like last name, first name, and that just made it more confusing who was who. <laughs> somebody Are would these? always be called Lewis first, no matter what I did. Where did these gyro mechanic gears come from? Anyone? Maybe, maybe somebody's running around mass looting them all. Cross main scavengers have taken Viking. Those are all scouts that way. Oh, I found a couple. We're supposed to burn down constriction totems? Is that where the yeah, yeah, yeah. the no. gears are? Or are they just on the ground? The cons the totems were just a thing that you use your item to burn down, but Nick found gears down this way. Oh, I found... Scavengers. Yeah. Ah. Come in range so you can loot them. Ah. This it's all right. We'll just have to kill Clothes hanger shaped, uh, ma like, map boundary. You will obey the clothes hanger, friend. Or it is wise and mighty. Yeah. It is the keeper of sweaters. Nope, no, 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 no. Nope, no, no. Hunter had aggro and it made me uncomfortable. Nope, nope, nope. Things are you, you need are to we, kill are scavengers. Are we already scavengers. out of scavengers? Yeah, there were. Yeah, there were. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting I, balance we've got here of enemy distribution. I think it's possible that we may just need to clear down a bunch of scouts and wait for them to respawn as scavengers. <laughs> like somebody's just been selectively killing the scavengers and they respawn the scouts. Like everyone that comes here for this quest. Oh no! You don't no. have to tell me to kill people. <laughs> You'll just kill everything that's red. Scout, 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 scout. Thing is a scout. Remarkable how many of them are scouts. I got a scavenger over here. Oh. Two oh. scavengers, three scavengers. Hey, oh. For spawning. They kind of wow. made this one as easy as possible by making sure there was like an army of eight random AI allies <laughs> hugging all the things. <laughs> welcome to this. Uh, oh, and there's we, a scavenger. We, we welcome us this fantastic too. cameo from Ashley sneezing. Yeah. Now we got a, uh, a sneeze cameo. There's a couple of them. <laughs> uh, there's a scavenger. A series, oh, wow, series. there's another scavenger here. The playthrough's cast is Keith, Marty, and Nick with with a special guest star, Ashley Sneeze. That's what happens when you do not have isolation. Oh, there's a scavenger. I'm almost there. Oh, those are both scouts. No. I'm so close. Seven out of eight. Oh, there's just a bunch of scavengers all of a sudden. Yeah, like I said. Got it. Kill all the scouts, make them respawn. Yep. You've been playing this long enough for me to trust you on that. <laughs> That's dangerous information. Oh no. <laughs> but we've got nicks and balances in this party, so. My trust has been abused before. My trust was abused over Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> Do I know about this and then forget about it, or what's going on here? No. 
You weren't there. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we we trolled Nick into believing fake family traditions. It's okay. <laughs> that's that's just the right thing to do. Just be a terrible friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, so I didn't start it. JR started that one. Oh no. And I I mean I can't I can't out him at the start of a prank. <laughs> <It's> impolite. <laughs> that's that, that's your <laughs> dynamic apparently. Just accept it when that's happening and encourage it. Now we're gonna speak, speak to, to Del Delberg Crank Toggle. Delberg Crank Toggle. Let's do it. These names are fantastic. Toggle some cranks. Oh god, the license plate on this chauffeur is Pwn. Is it really? Yeah. Do they still change the level of the of the elite Torin Chieftain every expansion? I don't know. I haven't seen them in this expansion. I think I remember like 60, 70, and 80. I was wondering if they just keep changing the acronym over and over again. Hi, Delbert. Mr. Crank Toggle. If that is your real name. <laughs> you know, with a name that ridiculous, uh, I just have to believe it's true. <laughs> and we're going to go talk to Slamp Wobblecog now. Behold, the ultra safe personnel launcher. I don't trust that name or your name. Sorry, guys. I got this. Now I've got two names to not trust. Oh, God. Uh, oh, he God. What the heck? I, I can only assume <laughs> he's dead. Ultra safe. Per ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, my oh. God. <laughs> oh. That wind, that, that whistling wind sound. <laughs> <laughs> and the last minute parachute. That's oh, my goodness. Who needs PUBG when you got World of Warcraft gnome leveling? Don't worry, that feeling of being zapped won't stay with you for more than a few minutes. That parachute needs some work, though. Very late deployment, indeed. <laughs> Sometimes too late. Anyway, we have a mission to carry out. <laughs> yeah, get to work. Genocide. Just surprise, you could have died. Yeah, get back to killing things. You have a body kind of only like 100 things so far. You got to step it up if you want to be a hero. Right. <laughs> Snevik the blade. Oh, geez. Nick's already over there killing things. My blade hungers. <laughs> Sorry, my, my lightsaber hungers. I was going to say, it's probably pretty not bladed. I'm totally just going to keep oh. this as a transmog for my weapons. This is a rare spawn. It's a pretty oh. good transmog to unlock that early. Perfect. Loot the monies. Oh, there isn't actually that. All right, so we do. Now what do we do? Attack the northern thing. Oh, hey, my pet's not here. Okay. And we have to shrink builders. Shrink them. Here's the signal. Here's How long have I not had a pet? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it was Probably. just the jump. Yeah, probably since he got jumped. Just this important realization that everything I encounter is going to attack me. Okay, guys are shrunk. Now to go do this. <laughs> They're just tiny and panicking. Can't lift tools! So it just it still wears me out my weapon attack is just it like slithers at my opponent like a snake and that's why it's called that cobra shot <laughs> and otherwise it's just a normal attack with normal element damage well done gnome chop that'll teach with them that'll teach them not to mess with us in our home okay <laughs> we taught them by killing them yeah now that learned them good <laughs> they, forever they definitely learned their lessons being especially the dead ones mm, interesting especially the dead ones i, I like that another operative just flew in 
I just got an achievement for finishing 50 quests. Have we already yeah. done 50? Yes. Oh my god. Well, the quest density the, is absurd. Did we do an extra one? Because... Yeah, I already had it. Yeah. Maybe. We had it like five minutes. Holy smokes, yeah. I think we turned in something that you didn't. Maybe. Maybe. This will be a, an ever-present rift we feel for the rest of the playthrough. Much like Nick's the, late arrival in the D&D campaign. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I caught up to Soltron a little bit because he went old. Because <laughs> he stormed Commando. out of multiple consecutive gaming sessions. I thought it was only one so far. Did I, like, blank out another one? No, the other one was Twilight Imperium. Hmm. I'm really having trouble Maybe accepting that you're supposed to be a monk with your giant dual wielding swords that are yeah, the size of your I body. Yeah, that's what I think of when I, I think of monk, not like a quarter staff or punching. No, giant warrior blades. How are you? I just don't think they give fist weapons <laughs> out this early. No, not unless you're in like the Pandaren starting area. And yeah. It's raid night every night. That sounds a little close to home. We're supposed, we're supposed to be defending things. How do we defend things? I don't know. They're sneaking in. We gotta stop them. Look how sneaking in they are. And now they oh, no. stole rims. Uh. What? Oh. Sound the alarm. Take back those rams. Okay. Um. Are we just gonna chase them then? Now do we fight? I guess. Now that we oh, let them. Oh, that just... was a really janky, weird interaction. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> why didn't you we know, try? We, we followed you in there, so are we really coward? <laughs> yeah. Like, why didn't we stop any of them before they got in? That was bizarre. That's one of those moments of like, wow, this is a, this does feel like a fifteen-year-old game. Wait. What a bizarre quest interaction. Wait, he becomes invincible and runs away? And he called us a coward? Yeah. That's that's how logic works, right? I think this intro is just designed to make you racist against trolls. They haven't wow suffered such losses since the raids began. Pain, bagash, bagash, bag Bagash's fang. What can I get for you okay. today? It does feel like each each uh, race region gets like a primary race from the enemy faction to fight a lot. Shall we go in here and uh, look for a fang? Is that, is that in here? Or is that up in this mountain pass? What's on your uh, mind? Obtain Vagash's fang. Yeah. I think there's just a cave in, up there in the hills above the ranch yeah yeah so how do we get there you gotta loop back around Imagine. you can see on on the southern part of the hill you can see a, a path going up it it shortcuts come on yeah are you, are you proud of yourself right now yeah the, the, totally the, worth the zero time that was saved as i'm right behind you <laughs> totally worse I earned this. That's Vagash. Hey, there he is. Oh. Okay. And we can't use the gnome racial. Oh, that's just a mobilization or speed reduction thing. Got it. Okay. Did you try to use it? Yeah. Stun. Whee. Stun is not an immobilization. Oh, weird. It's a stun. Probably like a or something. Welcome. Vagash still terrorizes the hood. Please help us by killing the. I did that. It's fine. 
It's fine. Let's go recover some stolen rams. It's the girl who cried is the gosh. Because apparently we didn't recover them hard enough when we killed six ran. of them. Yeah. That, and they and they very clearly did not steal the rams anymore. Yeah. Yeah, but once more with feeling. Okay. I got it. This makes sense. Hey, look. There are literally NPCs called stolen rams. <laughs> okay. It's nice, it's nice to live in a world where everyone conveniently labels themselves accurately for the exact needs that you have. I can't interact with stolen ram. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> Just imagining, like, the real-life labels we have. Like, you walk into, like, a coffee shop and, like, the names are, like, graduate not using his major. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that sounds like me. <laughs> but how do I recover him? Buried in student debt. That does not sound like me. Do we have a quest item? I don't see one. Uh, I think we use magic. Do we actually? I need have to recover to your stolen ram. Using slash whistle. Oh my oh. god. Wow. Okay. And, and the works for me. Gnome <laughs> whistle is a cat call. <laughs> no, it's a ram call. Pay attention. Oh, but I'm bad at this. Pick up on context clues. God. Well, that was a quest. <laughs> We're teaching you how to emote. We're teaching you to read quest text. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm you're going to wander around namelessly for half an hour. I'm just imagining like a, a Worgen quest that's like recreate thriller. You have to line up with other Worgen players <laughs> and you all have to slash dance and sync with each other. It's the only way to complete the quest. You want to be a raider, don't you? Show me if you got what it takes. <laughs> Man, I really still. Oh, I have disengage. I have a, I have a new skill. <laughs> now I've got three buttons that then I only press one over and over again. Oh, yeah. Execute. Oh, no. This you is the. You gotta execute, but I gotta self heal. Oh, no. I already got my self heal. So Nick has charge, and you got your roll, and I have flipped backwards. <laughs> <laughs> the exact opposite of the kind of progress we'd wanna make charging around. Just get really good at sp <laughs> spinning around, jumping, facing away, and then disengaging, and then spinning back around. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. That, that, that's how that, that works. Lot. It's like, where's the bear? Now we gotta from? go to a quarry. Yeah. It's hey guys, uh, wait up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it goes so far backwards, too. <laughs> You really do just have to get good at spinning around and jumping backwards. <laughs> and then spinning back around again so you run in the right direction. That's the elite strats for the Warsong Gulch. Just movement in general, really. Do you see people do that? Like, spin around to disengage in the proper direction like they're Alucard and are, they're backdashing through the, the Symphony yeah, of the Night so Castle? I, I play a hunter. <laughs> And oh. that's what I do all the time. Oh, God. <laughs> I wish you were joking, because it well, sounds like hell. You, you couldn't do it totally off the Oh, my God, I just too. did it. Yeah. The most bizarre, like, fart move. It's very, it's very natural after doing it for so many years. <laughs> okay, we're going to return trapped miners. Got to distribute runes of return. Do we ever want to actually go to Ironforge? Eh. Uh, <laughs> when it's time to fly to another region. <laughs> Probably when we run out of things to do here. I do think we should do a dungeon before we wrap up. Oh yeah, we are getting close to two hours. Hi. Well, we're only level nine. The first dungeon's at 15. Is it really? Yeah. Well, then I guess we're going to be here a while. <laughs> Yeah, let's stop wasting time and start returning lost Art. miners or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just need to flex oh, so that you level us. faster. Rock jaw skull thumper. 
That's a name. When you take a break from Warcraft and then you, re you sort of revisit the universe a little bit, it's really, it's a trip to readjust to how insane the naming scheme is for the characters. Like, you have to remind yourself that they unironically named a character Malfurion Stormrange. And it's like every- it's like a series of like five words mashed together where majority of them are some version of being angry. <laughs> like, I'm bad angry storm angry angry. Not angry. Not angry. Not <laughs> JPEG. Oh, we've killed enough skull thumpers. We have to kill bone snappers. Those are completely different people, obviously. And loot a whole educate, bunch of things. Educate yourself. Oh, right. Where are the trapped miners actually like in a mine? I love watching oh, you run around with all your freaking act like crazy anime swords and shit. And then you're just kicking people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never <laughs> unequip those swords. I watch They're you run around and like high kick people instead, and it's like, what, what's happening? Yeah, my character never uses those swords. They are <laughs> They're just there to look absurd. In the back. Yeah, you guys are gonna need to run this way, not that way. Looting shit off the ground. If it'll actually let me loot this off the ground. <laughs> I think we just like re-phased right as I looted that. Oh, you might have. There's another loot all of a sudden. Oh god, they all aggroed. Uh, I found too many skull thumpers. This isn't even the thing we want. <laughs> I Ow, did Jesus. tell you you need to come this way. Oh, Jesus. It's alright, I'm a warrior. I can <laughs> tank. <laughs> I'm coming with keys. Jesus Christ. They all got me at once. Oh, I, oh it's, I guess my pet went down. Oh. Yeah, because your pet has a taunt. I did it. I super died. Does everyone have reses yet, or is that a thing? Uh, we can't. The, with, I can't the only people. Healing. Yeah, the only people that have reses are people with healing class. Healing specs, rather. Did they make it so that when you join a guild, you have a healing a res spell or now or something? I feel like they're no, at they some took point. It away. They took it away. Yeah, they added it and then they took it away. <laughs> and, and then they gave only the healing specs, the AOE heal. Oh. You um coming back to life anytime soon, friend? I am running in a direction. I didn't even know you could die in WoW leveling. Well, I found mean, a way. Did, you did manage to pull like seven things. Yeah, that was a surprise. You might have been right about rezoning or whatever, where like everyone might have, the entire place might have respawned simultaneously. Because out of nowhere, I had like six or seven attackers, and I'm like, how did this even happen? I wasn't like running in a crowd on purpose. Oh, he's alive. That was a bad time. Finally. Turn around, squeegee -ger. The corpses, though, they must be looted. There we go. Oh, okay. Yeah, bone snapper. Never waste a good corpse. I'm starting to think that my robo rabbit might not be the most durable fighter. Here, have a room. Hey there. You expect them to be like, oh my god, I'm so terrified. How am I going to get out of here alive? You click on them, they're like, interested in a pint. <laughs> like, this is, this is totally consistent. <laughs> Jumping backwards for no reason. Oh, thank you for the you crystal. <laughs> that was the last one I needed. Appreciate it. <laughs> Still need six more. Hey, three. Hey, look, there's a bunch down here. Yep. In this cave. 
I'll just aggro some stuff while you guys pick up crystals. Of course, it's a cave. That's just where crystals spontaneously form. You can trust me. I'm a professional. I'm done. Like I'm really cut. I'm kind of guard by how big the AOE loot is. I recognize this cave layout from oh, the Timeless yeah. Isle. Yep. <laughs> this is the exact same cave layout. Leveling a human is fantastic where you find you go through the exact same cave they give you at the beginning of L1 Forest like seven times. This cave is also in. Um... Oh, what's the outland zone? The spore place, the swamp? Zangermarsh? <laughs> yeah, I think it's in Zangermarsh. Oh god, now I just remember the Zangermarsh raid. Oh no. Swimming don't to it. Don't take me back. <laughs> don't take me back. Did you get enough crystals yet? I got it. Oh, okay. Oh man, I have enough cooking mats for level 5. Oh shit. Oh, this is the exit. No. Let's go up anyway. No. Maybe there's a rear spawn. Those blasted drogs? Nope. We've got a very severe dick wolf situation going on here. Where we're just leaving the rest. Uh, I think we can jump down here. Yep. Goodbye, Good. all of the other trapped miners. You don't matter. I hit There's my quota. There's a Carbots uh, animation for that. Like the drain a starting zone it's like heal some things you start healing things in this field of people that like crashed out of the exodar and then when you heal enough the quest giver just comes up and like shoes away the person <laughs> 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 well, I was just like oh it help me it hurts that was the that was the dick what wolves uh, penny arcade comic was that there was like just horrible things happening to all the people in this cave, but he's like, hey, I, I already got eight. It's all I was supposed to get. I'm leaving now. And then this guy's just like begging for mercy. And there's just like all these cages full of people and you just walk away. It's I just every only single recently quest. recently learned about that incident and that comic. Yeah. People were very mad. They were very mad. Yeah. It's one of those things where I feel like they would have been less mad if they never mind. addressed it, but talking about it made people more mad. <laughs> See you soon. It felt like a controversy where if you just didn't, if you just let it go away for a bit, no one would have freaked out about it. Hey, prospector's bag. Noise. 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 What do you mean that is an invalid you? slot for that what item? <laughs> Back. All right. Senator Mayor Stonehallow, what are you doing out here, Senator? Now we're going to go talk to Sergeant Barroom. Hey. Okay. <laughs> How do I get the feeling like this is our way out of Dunmoreau? Maybe. That'd be That'd be great. Once you pop, that's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Attention. Yeah. You got a problem how, with that? How, how do I rename him? Oh, there it is. Just right click. <laughs> yeah, Numlock still works. All right. Just autopilot towards you guys while I try to name this guy. <laughs> You're not moving. Oh, there you are. There we go. And now he's been renamed. Or he hasn't. Did I just say cancel? Crap. Probably. No. <laughs> Put my character on auto run. Just right click and follow. Ouija 
Ranger. Except, it's it's yes. Ranger. He's not changing his name. What's wrong with him? Maybe it's because Why won't he name? I don't think this pet loves me enough. He doesn't trust me enough to name him. I say rename, and then yes, like, would you like to rename your pet? And then it just doesn't name, change the name. I feel so betrayed. There's that sound. What sound? Oh my god, there's like a vehicle breaking down in my ear. That's because I'm clicking on your rabbit. Oh, oh, that's the worst sound. <laughs> oh no! It sound it. It's got a rabbit sound, but it's also got like a voice box noise going on. It sounds like a. It sounds like a. Somebody took one of those like, those mooing cow cans, and then it broke from being shaken too much, and now it just rattles inside. Wow, they are straight up frozen in giant blocks of ice. Yeah. Here to free them, man. So hunters have like like rogue energy now. Yeah, it's called focus. Do they just call it something else for fun? Yeah, and they've had it since what? Wrath of the Lich King. I remember when everyone had mana, except only oh, rogues and paladin, yeah. uh, rogues and warriors. What can I do for you? We are we all in now... your debt, squeegee oh. teacher. <laughs> oh, we can actually pick our specs at ten. What the heck? Yeah. Awesome. What's on your mind? Finally. What are you going, Marty? So you primarily play a hunter, Marty? Yeah. I did not know that. Hunter, Death Knight, Druid, but mostly hunter. What's your oh. role? Are you like a guild leader or a raid leader or? Guild leader. Uh, Nick's the raid leader nowadays. You were raid leader when I moved that. in, weren't you? And you like, but you got, you trying to get away from it? Yeah, a little bit. See you soon. I definitely needed more time to focus on work and not. Wow. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I don't actually have a two-hander for Brewmaster. Huh. How is it that I don't... Is there really no heirloom staff? Uh, there should be. Maybe not an agility stuff. That's oh. really weird. Oh, did they actually enforce this on Burmaster? Yeah, I can't do... I can't do Blackout Strike without a two-handed melee weapon. Oh, wait, can you not have a space in your name? No. Maybe that's I mean, why it's... Maybe that's why it's not letting me doing it without saying why. There's that. So that. I don't have it. I don't have. I don't have either of those. There we go. I, now I he's renamed. Okay. It did it. The important Re thing. G G G Re G G it's it's Reggie Gex. I mean Reggie Gex. A better name than my character's name. <laughs> 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 How are you picking your spec? Uh, N is the default hotkey for talent specialization. You could roll with the int staff. I remember yeah, there I being like a giant on, full screen pop up last time and it just didn't happen. I don't have any of those first three. Is what survival the is survival the the melee one? Yeah. The Burnished War staff is like one of the oldest ones. I don't so have what, one. So what have None. they done to differentiate these? Because when I played before, the three specs of Hunter were almost felt like you were just playing the same class, no matter what. Ooh, a, a glaive and a glaive icon with that says multi attack. That's appealing to me. Oh, the ability to temporarily summon another 
ally. Well, I will resolve my heirloom problem by the next time we play. Well, that's mildly annoying. I don't actually have a a rage dump for fury at the moment. So you build up a ton of rage and then it just sits there being full? Yeah. Being angry. <laughs> I, I get the dump at level 12. Oh, and I can equip two two-handers. Well, crap. I shouldn't have vendored my other two-hander. <laughs> I think I might just Whoops. stay with Beast Mastery for now. I mean, it's great for uh, for Love Link, and it's great for dungeons. It's great for a lot of things. It's also great for pissing off tanks. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we go kill some Dark Iron Spice? Let's go kill some things. Yeah. What I need to do is I need to be actually using my my pet's abilities, which I have not been doing. <laughs> Can't you set them to auto go also? I think they auto by default. Is that what it means when there's a spinning thing around them? Yeah. Is there anything down here? I have to go for a, a bit. Nothing down there. You looking for a fun surprise? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> That's fantastic. They make you just totally eat shit on the ice. Did you experience that? Multiple times. <laughs> character just flips and face plants directly on the ice. It's great. <laughs> That board do to you, man. I want some board ribs, man. Oh, you did actually go brewmaster with the yeah. with the int staff. Yeah, dignified headmaster's charge. <laughs> Better believe it. Oh wait, the agility staff that I I, I got confused with int one. The, the end one's definitely well. I just want more buttons. I just want more Dude, buttons so bad. You are playing the wrong spec for that, <laughs> man. Because they set you up with one attack that you get from level one, and then they're like, what about a CC? What about a jump backwards button? <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? did it. We got attack plans. I feel like one of the ways to get the full effect is to zoom in kind of close to your character and just realize how tiny you are now. Because everything so towers. Small. Everything just towers over you massively. It can it can literally it can very very explicitly change your your uh, perspective of the entire game sense of scale when you encounter like a tauren. I didn't see you roll, Marty. I just saw you run super fast. <laughs> <laughs> so you just went. Hm? Yep. Another case of we're just going to arbitrarily stop and help rescuing them <laughs> after the first few. Hey, we've been rescuing guys. Well, there's well massive past. pillars everywhere. Well past our number. Yeah. I was just charging to move. And we are totally going to just end up somewhere else and rescue people there. 
Yeah, now we're gonna hit up a flying machine. What an explanation to give to somebody. Yeah, I only rescued you because you were between me and where I was trying to go and charging you to make me go slightly faster. So enjoy your life, I guess. Oh geez, do we do we want to run all the way up there, or do we want to run over to that exclamation point for the lost pilot? Uh, yes. <laughs> We'll actually probably grab that one if we end up going into wherever this place is, Loch Modan. It's probably on the way. Let's see, uh, Lost Pilot is probably actually for the next zone. If I remember correctly. So let's go to the airfield. Okay. Yeah, Loch Modan's the next zone. So that's probably oh, is the, the intro quest. This road here? Um... It actually might be this uh, this road. It might be the road on the right that goes north. Yeah, kind of what I'm thinking. I think there's a uh, I think there's caves that go from the you know the two dark blobs of undiscovered area up there. I think a cave goes from the right one to the uh, left no. one. Yeah, it says take the road back west towards Skullbar Quarry and find me. Yeah. Oh well, this is east. Shit. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So why are you still going that way? Shh. <laughs> okay. Asphalt restaurant. Hey, it's discovered for some reason. Yay. <laughs> oh, I, I'm I'm getting in on that discovery XP. <laughs> I'll get in on that discovery XP at a higher level. You yeah, and your show. Oh no! Get away from me, you horror! Oh no, that's horrible. What? So your your motorcycle didn't spawn, but your Jeeves did. <laughs> so your your Jeeves is currently uh, sitting on an invisible seat, and you're running inside of him. You both have the same <laughs> you both have the same physical location, and so you're running, but you're wearing this man suit that's in a seating position with his legs clipping through the floor, as he just like swims through the air. <laughs> Nick, did you find the appropriate person? I did. We almost need like a warp to teammate button. I did. One of us should have gone warlock. Is there a guy over here that's just going to teleport us to the guy? Yeah. Is it going to be like fly us. like a bombing run? I need to pick a profession or something probably. No. No. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> did you really put down a raid marker? I did. <laughs> is that a thing you can do now? Yeah. It's something that's starting a party. Oh, anyone it, can do. Oh, it, it was on the unit, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I thought for a second there, I thought you put like, there added like some kind of like flare beacon thing where you can just add a raid marker to like a location. Well, the. Yeah, yeah, so I put the location marker on the ground where the unit was because I figured it would be more noticeable than just the, a marker over someone's head. This area is just full of like Krang's like, I'll get you turtles, like drill device. I feel like they flew us too far. They, a little bit. Right, right to the cliff so we can get the full experience of, of seeing the wetlands from here. The wetlands. Okay, the, 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 loca wetlands. the location I primarily associate with having to run through it as a night elf in order to get to all your friends in the human zones. While getting ganked yes. by undead rogues. Oh, I never had that issue. I was always just dying to the level 30 mobs. Ten. The airfield's been attacked. Oh, man. Okay, so the airfield's been attacked by the Dark Iron Dwarves, which are being added as an allied race. Yeah. There, there's some story here. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Wait till you get to the part where you fight a bunch of Worgen. Because isn't Moira on the, the council and she's Dark Iron Dwarf? I don't know, man. Oh, weird. Does it it kind of like auto locks into the fire, doesn't it? 
Oh, we got it. We'll just let the rest of those it, planes burn. It, no problem. <laughs> it's just a line of planes we blatantly left to die, to just be not usable. <laughs> it, it's fine. Just don't think about it. Somehow much. it's way funnier than leaving the people to die. Yeah. It's, it's like the, just a line of planes that we could extinguish half of them, then we just leave. What's on your mind? <laughs> Men are hard at work getting our flying machines and steam tanks back into the fight. Man. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna plant some banners to inspire people. Yeah. Is that what I'm saying? Obviously. Okay. They're feel good banners. They're feel good. The, the planes are still on fire. Yes. <laughs> but only in loose snow. It's, it's not even it's not even instanced so that you would like they would go away for you or anything. None of that. None of those perspective changes are happening at this point in the game. Oh, I see some loose snow. I can do this. I'm gonna plant a banner. That's one of the things that Guild Wars 2 does really well. Sometimes is like instant uh, changing what version of the world you're playing in, so that it visually changes with the quest. Sometimes. See, WoW has done a lot more of that. Uh, but, but it's selectively. Still, yeah. Like, they haven't redone everything that way. Where is loose snow? Just a little snow mounds, if you can find one. I mean, I, I killed this, this snow leopard and planted the flag in him. What? That's about all I can see. I don't see any actual, like... Mounds. Like, okay, there's one over here. Oh, there's a weirdly bright one. Yeah. I see several over here now. Okay. You guys get credit for that? Yep. yep. Perfect. It's always feast or famine with these things, aren't they? Aren't they? It's probably because that one dwarf group is slightly ahead of us. My uh, rabbit attacks by doing like a a spin in midair. Its primary way of attacking is to jump and then and then spin around to kick with its legs, then spin back around to land. So it looks like it's doing like Sonic the Hedgehog style, like midair, like aim, like homing attacks. Okay, we're good. Now all the way back. What was the name of that mount, Marty? Uh, it is called the. Summon chauffeur. It's actually oh, it, it actually did call it a chauffeur. I was joking. No, it's chauffeured mechani chauffeured mechineer's chopper. I thought you were about to say mechanishu. Mechanishu. I don't know why the uh, exhaust pipes flex and move when you jump. That Car seems... Cartoon visit. Just cartoon graphics. Chief Engineer tells me that he's managed to get one of the bombers repaired and airworthy. Oh, one of the things that we put out, maybe? Every time we do a quest in this region, our, our objective involves running all the way down the runway again. A, a yeah. road specifically designed to be long and straight. <laughs> And they put all the quests on the opposite end of them, oh. so that you have to run down it again. <laughs> the planes that we put out are on fire again. Yay! Nice. The important oh, thing to learn slain. from MMOs is that no, no matter how much effort you put in, the world will never change. Now, I don't think that we were supposed to run down the runway. I think that we were supposed to click the active bomber somewhere. Oh shit, was there a... Oops. Well, I'm already down here. <laughs> I'm just killing them on foot. I don't see the bomb. Oh, there it is. I did the bomber. quest wrong. <laughs> so I'm just killing them all on foot. Can I throw this the bomb? Is, this I is cannot fine. Th I cannot throw the bomb, by the way. I can throw the bomb, though, so it's all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Here we go. Save the day. I have failed this all today. <laughs> oh, 
Well, that sure is a lot of progress I'm so sort of contributing to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ooh. Big pack. Yep. Although I, have, I am honestly killing people out of speed that is not entirely incomparable to the speed that they're being killed by the bombs. Like, until we found clumps up here. Oh. Yeah. Oh Pumps god, what like if I'm at, what if, nine. I might just be out of range now. Oh no. Uh oh. And I can't press bomb anymore. Oh, I can. Can't use it from the bar, but I can do this. <laughs> Am I helping still? 30. All right. Now I just need to run back. <laughs> I, I really nailed Why it. Why is it still cycling? They really expect you to take a long time to do this quest. I guess. They, th they think you're gonna have a lot of trouble with that interaction. Welcome to tutorial, wow. Early game Bro. bombing run. Yeah. Don't worry, this will come up again when you're level 60. And in Hellfire Peninsula. Yep. <laughs> When you get to the expansion where you can tell that they were really into that particular idea, so they used it four times per zone. Oh, wow, so another question. Will I beat Keith? <laughs> uh, no. No. Oh, I actually got back first. Huh. Hi. Because you Take didn't that have on to Rails like quest. <laughs> Got to kill General Grimax. Okay. Oh Jesus! <laughs> it's horrifying to hear to hear you just land Brim, next to me. Oh, now we have to run all the way down. Yeah. The air. Why can't I ride the chauffeur? I came oh, out wrong. Solidarity. Oh, we're so close to another level. Yep. You hear the voices right now? Um, if you're hearing voices, you may want to check in with your doctor. No, the audio is just a chorus of men going, oh, on loop. I don't have that. Well, get good. And I have music enabled. It is evidently not music to your ears. Stop rolling. <laughs> That was the first time. Come back. I, I definitely killed Grimax from uh with a bombing run. From the bombing run. <laughs> oh there he is, you can see him because he's yeah. on a giant ridiculous like totem golem mech. Oh there he goes. I'm coming! <laughs> you should get credit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> That long run just in time to watch them die and then run back. Oh, they... No run backs here, man. A <laughs> charge. A plus environment design. This is this is the most exciting that the uh, early game WoW gets apparently. <laughs> Running back and forth up and down the airfield. Ah uh, yeah. This makes me really appreciate the Horde starting zones. <laughs> yeah, this was awful. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I'm not familiar with this one. This is like mostly new for me. I, I almost always played as... Well, my most, my most played character was human. But even Elwyn Forest is a really big kind of... I'm trying to think of what, what was the one that had tons of running. I think it was the undead zone for uh, Horde. Could be. Like go to the left bank, now go to the right bank, and now swim across this entire lake, and then go back to the opposite bank. And what can I do for you? Okay, now we're going to Moira. Apparently. Good job, guys. We did it. The we impossible has happened, and we have done a level. So now we're level two. Crap. What can I get for you today? We have Cook so much junk. Is Prospector bag only used for 
uh, the crafting goods that like a different profession uses or something? No, you can. Uh, Keep your feet on the ground. Okay, now I can see the bag door. Oh yeah, I have bags. Yeah, I think I can't figure out how to equip it because I can't figure out how to see my bags. Yeah. Uh, LVI anyway has an option to enable the bag bar, but it's disabled by default. Where are we going now? Now, now we really need to go to Iron Forge. At long last, we must meet our and, leaders. And there's no flight master here. No, there's not. No. Maybe back at the aircraft. Do we have hearthstones yet? Oh no, it would take me to Nomergon. I was smart and set mine to Karanos. To uh, where? Oh, Karanos. You can take the flying machine back. Is that guy not a flight master? He looks like a flight master. He looks like a flight master, but in fact, it's just the flying machine. If we jump off the cliff, can, is it going to get to a flight master in wetlands? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll right back. Back while we're in transit. I want this as my flying mount. Well, if you're an engineer, you can totally have one. Look at how screwed up the like the alignment looks on the propeller like bottom half. Yeah. I think just all I think all gnome inventions are just designed to vibrate and flex. It's super janky. Hey, look, the raid marker's still there. Oh yeah, it is. So is that attached to a location or or a unit? It's attached to the ground. Oh, I don't think that was there before. Then I think, we I think can... you I think you you can mark people before. And we can take this to Iron Forge. To so Iron Forge, Lag Forge. What's on your mind? Off with it. Oh man, computers have come so far since the days. Where you'd go into Iron Forge and your computer would stop working. <laughs> <laughs> and it would just you'd be playing at like three frames per second and you'd be running into a wall and you're just trying to get through this hell in order to get to like the auction house or to uh turn in a quest or something before you leave. Because like you're just a game that could run a computer that could run the rest of the game could just not run Iron Forge. I think I had a similar experience when I went to uh Orgrimmar for the first time. But it was never as bad as Iron Forge and Iron Forge. The worst part about Iron Forge, though, is that it has all these holes everywhere. So when you're lagging, you'd fall in the hole, and then you had to find your <laughs> way back to the staircase to get out of the hole. Because the hole had no purpose. There's just there's just a circle. Yeah, you can see the ring on the map now. Yeah. Like that ring is there. Those are all crevices you can fall down, and then you land on a grating, and you have to find the ramp to get back up. So you'd fall in that. You'd periodically just fall in that into that crevice and have to find your way out because of lag. And it's just, it was just hell. Now it's like you have to frame cap it or your game will run at like thousand frames per second. <laughs> Nomergan tabard? Heck yeah. For Nomergan. I equipped that tabard. Where'd you get that? From this quartermaster right here. Oh, that's, I, th I thought that was a player. My, you're a tall one. Right. I totally thought that was a player. I'm gonna skip go. the Iron Forge one though. What's that? I'm gonna. There was also an Iron Forge Quartermaster for getting an Iron Forge Tabard. Screw that. What do blues mean again? Daily quest. Oh. Repeatable. A foul repeatable. shortage. Your reward is actually a bonus to kick, a cooking skill. Yeah. I don't. That's that's definitely new. I remember cooking quests, but not like literally like, hey, we'll reward you with actual experience for that skill they added like for a lot of the uh, at least for like cooking and the first aid they added these basic skill point ones so that you could advance your skill without having to have the high level recipe stuff because that was like the, that day. was like the universal skill that everybody had and no one leveled yeah like what's your i have 32 first aid i think they saw a huge uptick in um 
people maxing out the skill when they added the daily quests, because you didn't necessarily have to go find rare shit in order to do it. Demanding answers. Oh, we need to head to the, the commons. I have a quest over here now? Oh, is he gonna ask? Ask us to fly back? Yep. I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm not yet, go. no. We gotta go that's to the commons. Yeah. I think that's where the auction house is. Oh, wait, no. It's not the commons. It's the throne room. Oh, is there a ramp like right? Oh, yeah, there's an entrance right here. Barley brew. <laughs> Our names are Beer Food McBeer McBeardy Shoot. Why have you approached me? Why have you approached me? Take care. My patience is short. Take these manacles and go to the Dark Iron Embassy. Wow. Okay. Where right, is that? What is the meaning of this intrusion? Oh, we're going to arrest Ambassador Slaghammer. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh my run. God! Uh, let's not be oh, in there now. Yeah. Uh, nope. 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 I found all the horde. <laughs> you don't want to watch this craziness happen. Uh. uh wow. I mean, we've I already. We could. They can't attack us because we're not flagged yeah, for PvP. We're in alliance territory, and we've never left it before. This is amazing. We just happened to come here right when like an entire raid is trying to kill the leader of this of this town. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd they even come in from? Like, what pass did they take? They flew in. Oh, right, you can fly now. Wait, I don't recognize anyone. False stats? Uh... You trying to Man, see if, my, if they're my... from a guild that you know or anything? Yeah, I don't recognize anyone here. Tempest Crusade. God damn, it's just a cloud of names. So I'm taking it that uh, Horde Alliance relations aren't going very well. <laughs> and have not been fixed over the course of like 12 years of expansions. I like that they're dropping those guild okay, battle that guy's, standards. That's kind of cool. That guy's just ill of <laughs> What the fuck? That's what demon hunters do. They just become Illidan, like actually Illidan. <laughs> this is just a straight up raid, huh? Yeah. It's yeah, like, there's achievements for killing all of the faction bosses and stuff like that. They're doing like a boss downage, yeah. You get a. <laughs> you just went up to sit on the throne. <laughs> you get a mount if you kill all of them. Oh man. There's get an that mount. achievement for killing like 50 people of the enemy faction in your capital. <laughs> yeah, there <Well>, is. <laughs> kind of hard to do. I don't think that you'd stand a chance. Keith, why don't you hit that uh, hurt pally there? <laughs> that sounds like not the best idea. You could just shoot him with your bow. I'm sure it'd be fine. Yeah. They sure, definitely they wouldn't want to. I definitely you. wouldn't get accidentally killed by the crossfire without them even acknowledging me. Like, their numbers are so terrifyingly big that they could kill us without even knowing that we were it, it flagged for PvP. True. I, I logged on to my, my freaking Drain Eye earlier today to see if the mods were working and saw that he has, like, stats that are, like, 20,000, which is a sane number to have. Look at that. They did it. They did right it. Right now, my agility is 33, and my freaking Drain Eye has, like, 30,000 on his stats. <laughs> it's like, what? what? How, did they, how did they even get to those numbers? Well, uh, it was oh, excellent just... timing that we got to talk to Moira before she died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another, well, we just watched someone probably take a guild screenshot. Uh, oh, here he is. I was going to say posted on their forums, but they probably just have a discord now. Yeah. Oh, we you guys have forums. Do you guys have forums? We do. I don't get used much anymore. I, in fact, just paid to renew them. 
Again. Um, I had like I used to make signatures for my for people for guildmates for the forums. <laughs> Let's well, just escort the, this, this guy be... into the nightmare murder horde. He'll be safe. This will be interesting. <laughs> we were not so fortunate. <laughs> um, timing. It just says bring him to the high seat, right? Just yeah. take him to the chair. Do as you will with me. I am not afraid. <laughs> <laughs> there's no one here. Well, there's there's honor guard Dunstad. He's here. Did he just walk off to the corner. Yeah, yeah. He just like self arrested himself because there's no one here. There's a, a wild hammer <laughs> fact checker. What the heck is that? Wild uh, hammer fact checker. That sounds like yeah, a political joke. That's, that's in honor of redshirt guy. Oh my god. You'll notice he's wearing a red shirt. Yeah, he is. Who is Redshirt Guy? Is it from a BlizzCon oh, event? Kid. Yeah. They're a uh, so notable I didn't actually celebrity. get credit for that ambassador quest. Neither did I. Well, so I actually arrested him. I did. Okay. <laughs> we have to arrest so him guys... one by one. I, yeah, of course, you go sp sprinting past. Heck yeah. <laughs> First. <laughs> Son Damn. of a bitch. No. Just stay back there. The respawn momentarily. <laughs> <clears throat> it's amazing how often MMOs, which have massive multiplayer built right in their name, are not built to be played multiplayer in a lot of moments. Yeah, what, the reason he's named Wildhammer Fact Checker is he pointed out uh, who from the Wildhammer clan should be representing them or ruling them. That was at BlizzCon 2016? Was somebody like incorrectly deciding who should be like some, did they choose the wrong person canonically or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. He knows the lore better than they did. <laughs> always been his key trait is he's oh my God. always asking questions about lore that they they have to go back and research to to answer correctly. Oh my god. Uh now return to Moira. I feel like the person who very well knows the lore of Warcraft might be a terrifying person to meet. They didn't let him ask any questions this year. <laughs> what was he there? Yeah, he's always there. <laughs> They're just like, don't no, we can't do this. You're gonna you break can our, YouTube it. Red shirt. You're guy gonna break our asks, lore. Ask a meaningful question like every year, but they didn't let him. They didn't let him ask this year. I can't turn in the quest because Moira's not here. Yeah, yeah this seems like dead. a good place to break. Well, at least this baby <laughs> didn't die. This baby with massive eyebrows. What? There's a baby oh, in a crib God. here. Why? <laughs> Fear him for he is mighty. I wish I could keg smash him. <laughs> Are you sure those just aren't caterpillars? You said that is astonishing. <laughs> it is an astonishing face for a baby to have. He's like a deleted character from those like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer like like stop motion videos. I think it's the one frame of animation blinking that really sells it. Oh, the eyebrows move. Oh no. Oh, they do. Oh. That's terrible. Every now and then he moves him like an inch up his face and it's like astonishing. Oh my goodness. I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> this is the most mesmerizing baby I've ever seen. Oh, jeez. Oh, right. right. They had an animation, so when you open your map, you actually pull out a map. Yeah. That's a nice little detail. It's ruining my dance animation. <laughs> Good work, guys. Ah, Nick's not wearing a Nomergan tag. Yeah, tattered. sounds like what somebody's not oh. really feeling the four Nomergan. Where's the Where's the vendor? The the quartermaster's at the flight master. Oh, all right. This will be easy then. 
I'll be back before Moira respawns. <laughs> Goodbye, Robot Nick. Robo Nick. Robo Nick. So, wow, that uh, guild really fucked us. <laughs> <laughs> Their timing, man. <laughs> you said uh, at the flight master? Yeah, where we flew in. There's Next an Iron Forge and an Omergan quartermaster. Your uh, rabbit is casting a shadow through the ground. Yeah. So I think you guys flew into a different spot, dude. Because I'm like, open up your map, and there's nobody here. Maybe if we leave and come back, she'll respawn. <laughs> Yeah, they uh, they killed them. Just uh oh. So. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need to contact this guild, like look up their forum or something. <laughs> See what they've done to us. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Don't mind me. Yeah, yeah. This happened to me before where like uh was it not it's not Barons, but the place next to Barons, that's the next horde town over in like Stone Talon or something the mountains and like like some oh yeah, we can we can take all three thrones for ourselves yep and like yeah somebody killed every quest giver and the flight master and like there just wasn't a town there anymore and it was just this weird experience of like what's left for me well this really, this really went full circle on the political upheaval in iron forge didn't it <laughs> or no we're gone yeah we didn't we didn't really know that we were going to be the ones sitting on the throne at the end of the day, but uh, <laughs> now we own the baby. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, WoW <laughs> made such a drastic change to the gnome opening. This is this is official canon now. We're we're in the yeah. lore. Yep. yep. <laughs> Can one of you guys oh, trade me seats? Oh my god. One of you guys trade me seats because I don't want to have to change the diaper. <laughs> I'm alarmed that they have lava by their thrones. Yeah, it seems like a bad idea. That would Just also seem like it would make your clothes light on fire. It would make you mostly light on fire in most ways, really. Like it's it's a very close proximity to lava. Yeah. Right. Being like eighty feet away, you feel the heat something fierce. Yeah. Although there's a lot of molten metal just everywhere in here. True. Like this is a giant pool of it here. Anyway, so they're back, Nick. Yay! Now you can buy the tabard. I hope it's everything you hoped it would be. Oh yeah. Yeah. Carnos it is. We're no more again. We're no more again. Are we gonna go fly back to Carnos and stop it there? Might as well. Alright. That you could help get me to lock Madon. Is that where we're going? I thought you just said Car Karanos. <laughs> so I want Car Karanos. Okay. We All have right. a quest. We have a quest called Return to Gremlock in Karnos. Okay. But yeah, Lock Madon that. will be next. So we'll fly from Karanos to the quarry and so on. You gotta press that M button. Open that map. Which now doesn't full screen until you tell it to. I think it's better that way. It is funny to full screen it and then just have it be the wrong proportions. Because it's four by three. Because they, they originally built this game assuming you were playing everything in four by three. Yeah. But. Having said that, I am surprised at how well it scales up to 3440 by 1440. <laughs> that's the resolution you're at right now, right? Yeah, that's how Je I play. Jesus, because you have the ultra wide screen, like narrow ass, weird shaped monitor. Yeah, actually, I scaled it down to 2560 by 1440 so that I could record it. See you soon. Are you recording? Yeah. Safe travels. I don't know if I'll ever do anything, but I figured I should. Yeah. Yeah, a notable number of the experiences you do are 
have with like giant an entire monitor's worth of black space to the left and right because <laughs> you got like yeah. a triple sized monitor. Yeah, That's, it's a trip to see. Like, which aspect ratios are you compatible with? Yes. Yes. Although I think what it's like. Oh god, if you saw something in 4x3, like, there'd be so little screen space being actually used. Uh, 4x3, what? 1800x1200? What would that be with 1440? I don't know. Are we, are we getting rest in here? I can't tell if this is a rest location. Yeah. I know one way to tell. Log out. 